this video, I'm going to show you how to use the brand new Google Forms. Now, Google Forms is found under the Google Document family, so it's very similar to Google Slides, Google Documents, uh, Google Sheets, the ones that you just learned about as well. So you can go to docs.google.com forward slash forms once you're logged in. So web forms is something that sometimes we struggle with. Sometimes it's hard to find solutions to. So you can actually create very basic contact us forms. You can do even surveys as well if you choose to do that. So just getting to know this is really powerful. So I'm going to show you how to set up a basic contact us form. So we're going to click on the plus sign here just like we would in Google Docs or Google Sheets. And I'm going to come in here and choose um, the questions here. So the first question is going to be uh, contact us, contact us. And then I'm going to say we look forward to hearing how we can help you, please. Let us know how to get in touch with, with you. Okay, so there's that basic info. Now we're going to go with an untitled question. This first question is going to be very basic. It's going to be your name. And we're going to set this as a short answer. So that would be a short answer text where they put in their name. Next thing, we're going to duplicate this section. And we're going to say email address. Okay, email address, and then we're going to duplicate that as well. And I'm going to say phone number. And let's duplicate that. Best time to call. And we're going to change that to a multiple choice question. So we're going to say option one here. I just have to point and click in here. We'll say morning add another okay so we got the morning option selected there and you could add another option if you wanted to so we've got morning afternoon and then we can add a third option evening or other where they could specify a time then we will go over here and let's duplicate this section, but let's move it down here below best time to call. And then it will say your question, question or your comments. How can we help you? That works too. How can we help you? And then we're going to make this, instead of a short answer, we're going to make it a paragraph so people can give a longer answer, a longer uh, response as well to that. So now we've added in uh, that field there. Um, we can go over here to this form here. Let's change the form to contact us. All changes have been saved in Google Drive. You can change the color palette as well if you wanted to. So if you want to change that to like a reddish color palette or if you wanted to go with gray, you wanted to go with something that maybe matches uh, more your colors or even like a company uh, logo, you could actually you know, import an image or go with one of these other uh, photos that they offer here. That would actually change the entire theme of your web form. So that would change the theme of that just so you knew uh, where that's located. So you could totally change that. I'm going to change it back to this bluish color because that looks clean and simple. And then we can go here to preview and we're going to simply preview our form and that looks really good. And then I'm going to save over here. Go over here and choose send. So once you hit send, you have several options uh, that you can use get this form on your website. So you can email it to somebody directly. So you could say, you know, hey, fill out our customer acquisition template. You could send them a direct link to it. So now you've got this link to copy it. I could also shorten that link uh, to make it easier to share in emails and, and other forms. So I could send this as an email to my list and say, hey, I'm opening up a coaching program. I'm setting up this exclusive uh, opportunity, this exclusive list just for people interested in joining my coaching program. Program and I could email them uh, this direct link in my inbox and that way I would have it organized and know where my responses are coming from. So I could just copy that link and paste that in an email. And then I could use the embed feature and I could actually embed this
this form, I can actually embed this form on my web page. So you could set up a web page and then actually embed this form and then people would fill it out and then you can actually check the responses as well. So you just simply copy that coding and that is how you will embed it. So it's really easy when you're ready to embed it, you just click on send. You can add all kinds of things too. You could add a video to the top of your form. You could add an image. Imagine adding like a video where it's you talking about, you know, hey, I'm so excited you're you're interested in joining our coaching program or you're interested in working with me directly. Just fill out the information below. I'll get back in touch with you. That'd be really powerful, right? That'd be a very powerful feature. And then you can just come into this form at any time. So you can go to your uh, Google form. So uh, docs.google.com forward slash forms just go to or google.com forward slash forms that works as well and once this page loads up here I'm gonna show you uh, where the form is that we just worked on uh, that we just set up so you can do go right here and you could say um, click on this contact us form that we worked on it's going to load up once this form has actually loaded up you can go here to responses right here and you can actually view your responses. So you can actually get all their information uh, from people that have actually responded. And then you could actually, the cool thing is, you can actually create a spreadsheet, a Google Sheets, from the responses that have come in. So now you can go to google.com forward slash sheets because this integrates with that. And now you've got a spreadsheet that is working and that uh, you can actually view responses on. And then you could share that spreadsheet with your business partners, with your virtual assistants, with any number of people that you want to uh, collaborate with. So it's really cool. You can use Google Forms to your advantage, especially if you are looking for an inexpensive, and in this case, a free way to capture uh, customer information so that you can follow up with them later. So this is like for more important things like coaching programs, a contact us form on your website, a temporary contact us form before you get something else dialed in. But this works really well. It's really efficient and it's a good way to get customer uh, input on things and then you can respond to them. So it's a really cool uh, platform. Make sure that um, accepting responses is checked. Make sure that is checked so that you are getting the responses. And then you can actually create the same form for a survey. You know, So you could say, I'm curious as to what kinds of information. You could do a two-question survey to your email list the same way I just did it and say, what kind of content do you want to know? Do you want more informative? Do you want marketing information on internet marketing? Do you want information on pay-per-click traffic? Do you want information on Facebook ads? Do you want info on how to run an auto webinar? Do you want info on creating an info product. That way you know what kind of products you could create for your audience. You could do a really simple survey that way and then check your responses, put them into a spreadsheet, and then you've got the chart that would be able to be created from that spreadsheet. So they make it super easy, super seamless. Again, under responses, you just click here and that would actually create a spreadsheet for it. So this right here is Google Forms. It's really powerful. It's a really cool way to create forms that your customers can use to reach out, connect with you on. Make sure you leverage this other amazing free tool from Google for your business.